Day 274. Isaiah 11-13. Then a shoot will spring up from the stump of Jesse, and a branch from his roots will bear fruit. The Spirit of the Lord will rest on him, the Spirit of wisdom and understanding, the Spirit of counsel and strength, the Spirit of knowledge and fear of the Lord. And he will delight in the fear of the Lord. He will not judge by what his eyes see, and he will not decide by what his ears hear, but with righteousness he will judge the poor, and with equity he will decide for the lowly of the earth. He will strike the earth with the rod of his mouth and slay the wicked with the breath of his lips. Righteousness will be the belt around his hips, and faithfulness the sash around his waist. The wolf will live with the lamb, and the leopard will lie down with the goat, the calf and young lion and fatling will be together, and a little child will lead them. The cow will graze with the bear, their young will lie down together, and the lion will eat straw like the ox. The infant will play by the cobra's den, and the toddler will reach into the viper's nest. They will neither harm nor destroy on all my holy mountain, for the earth will be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the sea is full of water. On that day the root of Jesse will stand as a banner for the peoples. The nations will seek him, and his place of rest will be glorious. On that day the Lord will extend his hand a second time to recover the remnant of his people from Assyria, from Egypt, from Pathros, from Cush, from Elam, from Shinar, from Hamath, and from the islands of the sea. He will raise a banner for the nations and gather the exiles of Israel, he will collect the scattered of Judah from the four corners of the earth. Then the jealousy of Ephraim will depart, and the adversaries of Judah will be cut off. Ephraim will no longer envy Judah, nor will Judah harass Ephraim. They will swoop down on the slopes of the Philistines to the west, together they will plunder the sons of the east. They will lay their hands on Edom and Moab, and the Ammonites will be subject to them. The Lord will devote to destruction the gulf of the sea of Egypt, with a scorching wind he will sweep his hand over the Euphrates. He will split it into seven streams for men to cross with dry sandals. There will be a highway for the remnant of his people who remain from Assyria, as there was for Israel when they came up from the land of Egypt. In that day you will say, O Lord, I will praise you. Although you were angry with me, your anger has turned away, and you have comforted me. Surely God is my salvation, I will trust and not be afraid. For the Lord God is my strength and my song, and he also has become my salvation. With joy you will draw water from the springs of salvation, and on that day you will say, Give praise to the Lord, proclaim his name. Make his works known among the peoples, declare that his name is exalted. Sing to the Lord, for he has done glorious things. Let this be known in all the earth. Cry out and sing, O citizen of Zion, for great among you is the Holy One of Israel. This is the burden against Babylon that Isaiah son of Amos received, raise a banner on a barren hilltop, call aloud to them. Wave your hand, that they may enter the gates of the nobles. I have commanded my sanctified ones, I have even summoned my warriors to execute my wrath and exult in my triumph. Listen, a tumult on the mountains, like that of a great multitude. Listen, an uproar among the kingdoms, like nations gathered together. The Lord of hosts is mobilizing an army for war. They are coming from faraway lands, from the ends of the heavens, the Lord, and the weapons of his wrath, to destroy the whole country. Well, for the day of the Lord is near, it will come as destruction from the Almighty. Therefore all hands will fall limp, and every man's heart will melt. Terror, pain, and anguish will seize them, they will writhe like a woman in labor. They will look at one another, their faces flushed with fear. Behold, the day of the Lord is coming, cruel, with fury and burning anger, to make the earth a desolation and to destroy the sinners within it. For the stars of heaven and their constellations will not give their light. The rising sun will be darkened, and the moon will not give its light. I will punish the world for its evil and the wicked for their iniquity. I will end the haughtiness of the arrogant and lay low the pride of the ruthless. I will make man scarcer than pure gold, and mankind rarer than the gold of Ophir. Therefore I will make the heavens tremble, and the earth will be shaken from its place at the wrath of the Lord of hosts on the day of his burning anger. Like a hunted gazelle, like a sheep without a shepherd, each will return to his own people, each will flee to his native land. Whoever is caught will be stabbed, and whoever is captured will die by the sword. Their infants will be dashed to pieces before their eyes, their houses will be looted, and their wives will be ravished. Behold, I will stir up against them the Medes, who have no regard for silver and no desire for gold. Their bows will dash young men to pieces, they will have no mercy on the fruit of the womb, they will not look with pity on the children. And Babylon, the jewel of the kingdoms, the glory of the pride of the Chaldeans, 
will be overthrown by God like Sodom and Gomorrah. She will never be inhabited or settled from generation to generation, no nomad will pitch his tent there, no shepherd will rest his flock there. But desert creatures will lie down there, and howling creatures will fill her houses. Ostriches will dwell there, and wild goats will leap about. Hyenas will howl in her fortresses and jackals in her luxurious palaces. Babylon's time is at hand, and her days will not be prolonged. Ephesians 4 As a prisoner in the Lord, then, I urge you to walk in a manner worthy of the calling you have received, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love, and with diligence to preserve the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. There is one body and one Spirit, just as you were called to one hope when you were called, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. Now to each one of us grace has been given according to the measure of the gift of Christ. This is why it says, when he ascended on high, he led captives away, and gave gifts to men. What does he ascended mean, except that he also descended to the lower parts of the earth? He who descended is the very one who ascended above all the heavens, in order to fill all things. And it was he who gave some to be apostles, some to be prophets, some to be evangelists, and some to be pastors and teachers, to equip the saints for works of ministry and to build up the body of Christ, until we all reach unity in the faith and in the knowledge of the Son of God. As we mature to the full measure of the stature of Christ. Then we will no longer be infants, tossed about by the waves and carried around by every wind of teaching and by the clever cunning of men in their deceitful scheming. Instead, speaking the truth in love, we will in all things grow up into Christ himself, who is the head. From him the whole body, fitted and held together by every supporting ligament, grows and builds itself up in love through the work of each individual part. So I tell you this, and insist on it in the Lord, that you must no longer walk as the Gentiles do, in the futility of their thinking. They are darkened in their understanding and alienated from the life of God because of the ignorance that is in them due to the hardness of their hearts. Having lost all sense of shame, they have given themselves over to sensuality for the practice of every kind of impurity, with a craving for more. But this is not the way you came to know Christ. Surely you heard of him and were taught in him, in keeping with the truth that is in Jesus, to put off your former way of life, your old self, which is being corrupted by its deceitful desires, to be renewed in the spirit of your minds, and to put on the new self, created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. Therefore each of you must put off falsehood and speak truthfully to his neighbor, for we are all members of one another. Be angry, yet do not sin. Do not let the sun set upon your anger, and do not give the devil a foothold. He who has been stealing must steal no longer, but must work, doing good with his own hands, that he may have something to share with the one in need. Let no unwholesome talk come out of your mouths, but only what is helpful for building up the one in need and bringing grace to those who listen. And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, in whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. Get rid of all bitterness, rage, and anger, outcry and slander, along with every form of malice. Be kind and tender-hearted to one another, forgiving each other just as in Christ God forgave you.